Hey, how's it going? My name is Xu. Amy is a calendar app that I found a while ago, but it's definitely one of the most aesthetically pleasing apps that I have tried. You can manage your schedule and tasks with Amy, but it's probably not quite like other calendar app you might have used before. What makes Amy handy is that it brings together your to-dos, calendar, and emails all in one place. It's designed to make your daily life easier by putting everything you need to stay organized in a single spot. While testing this app, I find it particularly helpful that I didn't have to switch between different apps. In the morning, I could open Amy and uh, see my schedule, tasks, and the important emails all at once. The app lets me schedule time for my to-dos right on my calendar, which is great for planning my day. I also love how I can easily turn my emails into tasks so I don't forget to reply or follow up on important messages. You can also color code each event and tasks so it's easier to see what's on your schedule. Now, Amy makes capturing events and tasks super easy thanks to its natural language processing. This means I can type in normal everyday language to schedule things and it understands what I mean. For example, I can simply type a Go to the uh, post office next Friday 3 p.m. and it will automatically create an event in my calendar. I use this feature all the time for both work and personal tasks. Um, when I remember I need to call my mom, I just type call mom next Tuesday at 7 p.m. and it's on my calendar. For work, I might add send an invoice Friday 5 p.m. and Amy turns it into a task. I love this feature on any calendar or task apps because I don't have to fiddle with the date pickers or time selectors. Instead, I just type what I need and the app takes care of the rest. But if you're looking for a tool to organize and manage your relationships, today's sponsor Dex is my favorite. It's a must-have tool for everyone because it makes staying connected with your friends and uh, meeting new people easy. I use Dex regularly and it's become an essential part of my networking toolkit. The unified contact list is a game changer. It brings together all my contacts from various social networks like LinkedIn, Twitter, and Facebook, as well as people I met in real life. This means I can see all the important information about someone in one place, their work, email, mobile number, and even notes on our previous conversations. Another great feature that I like is how easy it is to add new contacts. Whenever I come across someone I want to connect with, I can import that information directly into my contact list with just a few clicks. I can then add notes or set reminders to follow up. It's designed to work wherever you are with a browser extension that integrates with LinkedIn, Facebook, and Gmail, which lets you manage relationships within your existing workflow. There is also a mobile app, so you can check your contacts on the go. Overall, Dex has made it much easier for me to be more intentional with my relationships and expand my network. It's a complete networking toolkit for anyone looking to improve their personal and professional connections. You can download it right now from the link in the description and uh, make sure to check it out and support the channel at the same time. Okay, now Amy is working on some AI features such as AI chat and uh, AI scheduling, which is still rough around the edges. At this moment, the AI chat is still like a slightly better version of the natural language processing. It can help you create or schedule task or event. Unlike the default task capture, it can understand your intention better. You can say something like order coffee after lunch and it knows exactly when to put it. Or you could say build a kitchen rack on Sunday and it seems to know it can take hours to complete it, so it automatically set the duration to 3 hours. Considering it's still in alpha, it's okay, I think. The other AI features is as useful, it's AI scheduling, where AI finds an optimal time for your tasks and automatically schedule them. Of course, it's not always quite optimal, but what it really helps is to prevent some tasks from getting forgotten. By having them automatically scheduled, I don't need to worry about remembering to do them because they are on my calendar already. Now, Amy's schedule link sharing is also worth mentioning because it's a handy tool to make setting up meetings and events much easier. I can share my free time slots with anyone I need to meet. I think this is particularly useful for coordinating with people outside your organization or those who don't have access to your full calendar. The process is straightforward. I just create a shareable link that shows my available times and then I can send this link to whoever needs to schedule time with me. It's a simple way to avoid the back and forth emails. What I really appreciate is that it seamlessly integrates with the rest of the app's features. Since this app combines my to-dos, events, and the contacts in one place, the scheduling links reflect my up-to-date availability accurately. This means I don't have to worry about double bookings or conflicts. 
Uh, this feature is especially helpful when I'm working with people in different time zones or with busy schedules. Now, Amy can make managing your tasks and events much faster and easier thanks to its many keyboard shortcuts. Memorizing keyboard shortcuts of the software you use often is probably the easiest hack to improve your productivity. Amy also comes with a, a range of shortcuts that helps you get more done in less time. For example, you can quickly switch between agenda, daily, weekly, and uh, monthly views with just a few keystrokes. You don't have to waste time clicking around different parts of the app. When you are going through your tasks, you can modify them with shortcuts. For example, press P to mark it as your priority, H to schedule them, but there's a lot more you can do with them. Uh, so should you use Amy? Well, there are many things I like about it. One of the biggest pros is that, as I mentioned, it combines to-dos, email, and calendar all in one app, so you don't have to keep switching between different apps throughout your day. This saves you a lot of time and uh, reduces distractions. And it also means that you should be able to save money too, since you won't need to subscribe to multiple apps for tasks, calendar, scheduling links, and uh, email. And another big plus is how it helps you be more responsive to emails. You can easily say, as time to reply to them and less likely to let them pile up. Also, its interface is not just functional, but really pleasant to use. The design is cool and uh, playful, which makes using it feel less like a chore. I especially like the widget, which lets you customize your view. Also, the app works great on both web and uh, mobile versions, which I think is critical to stay organized whether you are at your desk or on the go. Overall, I liked it, but there are drawbacks as well. One of the main cons is its pricing, which can be more expensive than typical task or calendar app. Amy offers a free basic plan with limited features, but its pro plan costs 10 to $15 per month, depending on whether you pay annually or monthly, which is slightly more than typical task or calendar app. This price is somewhat justified because Amy combines email and calendar with task management, essentially replacing multiple apps. However, for users who don't need all these features or uh, on a, a tight budget, this cost might be a bit much. Also, it's true that you can respond to emails within Amy, but it's still basic. I mean, the most email apps nowadays have features that use AI to craft responses or identify actual items from your emails and the, you know there are a lot of things you can do with it but you cannot do that in this app so i often found myself having to reply to emails on the email app that i always use not on amy and another significant drawback is the lack of uh, built-in note feature this can be frustrating for people who like to keep notes alongside their tasks like me so you might still need to use a separate app for note taking in my case i often come up with ideas or things i need to do when i'm writing or taking a note which is why I prefer using note apps to manage my tasks as well. And additionally, I know the keyboard shortcuts are great for speeding up task and calendar management. The number of shortcuts can be overwhelming. It's hard to memorize all of them, especially when you're starting to use it. And uh, this learning curve can initially slow you down. Okay, Amy is definitely fun and uh, exciting app to use, but it doesn't quite meet my needs. And uh, well, you can check this video out for the app I actually use to organize my life, but you should probably give Amy a try as well and uh, see if it works for you. I will leave the link in the description. Anyway, thank you so much for watching until the end. I appreciate that and uh, see you in the next one. Bye.